is about defending the most awesome responsibility a person can have, being a parent. Right, because parents want the ability to teach their children to call homosexuals I'm smoking meth. Push the goddamn button! How's it going, subs? Non-subs? Mother who just clicked the thumbnail. Welcome to my channel. I'm smoking Mac, and this is Mac Reads, a segment where I choose an article or post that I deem worthy to read to you guys, and also give my own unique thoughts on it. Assuming you've read the title, Florida's state representative Joe Harding doesn't even want children to mention the word "gay" in the classrooms. Let's read. Florida House Committee on Thursday passed a bill seeking to ban discussions of sexuality and gender identity in school classrooms, which LGBTQ plus advocates say will effectively erase LGBTQ plus history, culture, and students. I got gay friends, gay family. The Parental Rights and Education Bill, also known as the Don't Say Gay Bill, passed Thursday in the House Education and Employment Committee largely among party lines. A lot of openly gay Democrats, a lot of closeted gay Republicans. The bill is about defending the most awesome responsibility a person can have, being a parent. Right, because parents want the ability to teach their children to call homosexuals Florida State Rep Joe Harding, who's a Republican, probably closeted, who first introduced the bill said Thursday, that job can only be given to you by above. Harden's bill, along with its companion bill introduced Tuesday by Florida State Senator Dennis Baxley, who's also a Republican and might be, you get it, would block teachers in Florida from talking about LGBTQ plus topics that are not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students. Gay co-workers, gay, gay people I see at the gym. I love gay people. According to the bill, parents may take legal action against their child's school district and be awarded damages if they believe any of its policies infringe on their fundamental right to make decisions regarding the upbringing and control of their children. If your son likes ma'am, your son likes If your daughter rather play with other than her own, it just is what it is. Can't control that. Chastin Buttigieg, the husband of Transportation Secretary and former presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg, a.k.a. Brad Stevens' doppelganger, after the bill had passed, called out Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for making Florida a more hostile place for LGBTQ plus youth. This will kill kids, he wrote Thursday on Twitter. You are purposefully making your state a harder place for LGBTQ kids to survive in. Buttigieg in his tweet also referenced a recent survey by the Trevor Project, a LGBTQ plus youth suicide prevention and crisis intervention group, which found 42% of LGBTQ plus youth seriously considered attempting suicide in the past year. Which regardless of how you feel about someone else's personal life, 42% is a f***ing extremely high number for any group to be considering taking their lives, especially youth. A separate report from the Trevor Project found that the LGBTQ plus youth who learned about LGD, oh my God, I'm sorry, who learned about LGBTQ plus people or issues in school had 23% lower odds of reporting a suicide attempt in the last year. Based on those numbers, to me, it sounds like a big f you to this bill. This has been Mac Reeves. <laughs> I'm smoking meth, man.